Hi everyone, my name is Farida from Rosebud AI and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to make a cookie clicker in our Rosebud AI game maker. It took me under 10 minutes and you can see the timer in the right sidebar. I'm only speeding up the parts where I actually wait for the code to return. So here we go. This is my first chat. So I am asking our AI to please create a simple cookie clicker game that uses Phaser logo as a cookie. And here, as you can see, we have the code. Now we're running it. And the phaser logo unfortunately falls down uh, from the scene. And I ask our AI to please uh, put it back and make it center. Uh, and as you will see, when it will return the code and um, it will kindly provide the explanation why this happened. So we'll wait a little bit. Okay, and the code is back. We're applying it and as you can see, it worked uh, because of the gravity, it was falling down and now it is center. So now I want to make the logo shape on each click that we make. And here's the code, let's run it. All right, now it shakes on each click. And now I'm going to the Assets tab where I want to generate Rose Sprite uh, to replace the logo here. But I'm not sure yet, so I'll be going through a couple of iterations here. And I'm choosing Cartoony Items model because I want to go for the cute aesthetics. And I like this one, so I am deciding to stick with it. Now I will ask to replace the logo with the rose bouquet that I made. And now looks like it needs one more clarification, so I am providing that. Looks like we have the code now, so I'm applying it and now it is in the scene, but it's a bit big. So I am asking to make the rose bouquet asset a little bit smaller, exactly two times small. All right, we've got the code back and it works. It made it two times smaller. I am clicking it. It is working fine. It is shaking just like we wanted. Now I want to add one more feature where on each 100 clicks, the rose bouquet will grow. Uh, 0.1 times bigger and I also want it to bounce a little bit. And here's the code. Now I will be applying it and running it and also clicking 100 times so I can see that it does enlarge and also bounce. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. So it did enlarge, but the bouncing was a bit hard to see because it already shakes. So I will be asking to change the effect from bouncing to spinning on one hundred clicks. All right. So now I am trying to click until it's one hundred, so that we can see if it spins. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred, and it spins. That's great. One more thing is that we have a publish button. You can easily publish your game, copy the link to it, and send it to your friends who will be able to play it in their browser. And that's it. 
Thank you so much for watching this demo. Head over to rosebud.ai and sign up for our waitlist to be among the first people to test alpha version of our game maker. Thank you. Bye bye.